Let's do it. We got a lot of people on here doing back-to-back -back workouts. I like it. Friday to Saturday. All right, let's do it, you guys. We're going to do our straight leg kick out of here. Everything in the warm-up will be 30 seconds. James, you're back to having your nice gym. Woo! Yeah! Good. Stretch out the hamstrings here. Keep that toe flexed up here to feel a good little stretch in the back of the legs here. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You're going to go quad stretch. So, heel the butt. Grabbing that foot here, you can get a slight lean forward if you want to. Stretching out those hip flexors and the quads. Very good. Little one to three second hold at the top here. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Leg cradle. Bringing that foot across, shoulders back. Again, if you have a hard time with any of the balance work, you can always grab a chair. All right, and then still pull that foot across. Bring those shoulders back, chest up nice and tall. Again, same thing, little one to three second pause here. We really don't need any equipment today. All right, good. We're going to go our knee hug. So knee to chest here. Nice big squeeze in. Again, one to three second hug. At the top, bringing that knee into the chest. Nice job. Proud of you guys for showing up on a Saturday at 9 a.m. Three, two, and one. Good. Single leg RDLs, reach it to the ground here. Knees slightly bent. Again, depending on how tight your hamstrings are, you can reach for that mid shin. Mid shin to the ground is totally fine. The main goal is your back is flat and you're stretching out your hamstrings. You can feel that little pull in the back of the leg here. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to go into our inchworm. So you're going to walk it down with the hands and push it on the bottom. Back up with the hands. You guys got 30 seconds here. 30 seconds. You are stretching out your hamstrings and then you're getting a nice, good range of motion push up on the bottom here. There we go, halfway there, 15 more seconds. Loosen up those hamstrings, work on that range of motion. Almost there, three, two, and one. Nice job, standing back up here. We're gonna go feet shoulder width. Arms are gonna go out in front here, and we're gonna go squat. Weight in your heels. Loosen up those hips, loosen up those hips. Squat down, you guys got 30 seconds here. Go ahead. 30 seconds of squat, chest up tall, drive through those heels. Push your butt back, increase that range of motion. Good, you guys got about 10 seconds here. Three, two, and one, nice job. Feet wide, we're going to go into our lateral rocks here, so a lateral lunge, stretching out that inner thigh here. Push your butt back, you guys are going 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Butt back, get that nice good stretch, push that weight all the way to the outside here. Good, halfway. Good. Bring those hips forward at the top. Hips forward at the top. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Nice job. Are we 
first lunge is with hip mobility. Knee up and around, dropping into a reverse lunge. So we have a little bit more of a balancing act here, but we're also loosening up our hips. All right, you guys are going for 30 seconds. Knee up and around, open up those hips. Engage that core and stay nice and balanced here. Nice job, you guys are halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, chest is going to be parallel to the ground, and we're going to open up our chest and thoracic spine here. So just loosening up the shoulders, weight stays in our heels. Go ahead. Try to keep chest parallel to the ground here. Nice job. Again, loosening up those shoulders. Nice job, nice job. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Perfect. You're going to take. Palms facing up here, all right, and thumbs facing back. You're going to open up your chest here, all right, and then squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. So right now, we're firing up the back muscles, also loosening up the chest. Keep those thumbs pointed towards the back wall. Very good. Keep it going, keep it going. We got four. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're gonna hop on the ground here. We're gonna be on all fours. Foot up on the hand, and we're gonna rotate up towards the ceiling. This is gonna stretch out our hip flexors, open up our chest and thoracic spine. You guys have 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So if you have your left foot up, you're gonna open up with your right arm. Right foot up, you're going to open up with your left arm. So it's going to be up opposite, facing and looking up at the ceiling. Keep it going. Again, the goal is foot up by the hand, but not everybody's range of motion will allow you to do that. So foot up as far as you can, loosening up those hips. 10 seconds. And then we're going to stay on the ground here. Three, two, and one, good. Same quad position. We're gonna go our leg circles. So right leg only, opening up the hips, ready and going. Open up the hip, big circle. We all know all these fire hydrants. My dog owner's out there. There you go, good, good, good. Right leg only, big circle. So, you're working on that hip mobility, but you're also getting that right glute to fire. And get warmed up for the workout. You guys got 10 seconds here. Three, two, and one. Good, switch to that left leg and going. Good, left leg, big circles here, big circles. Nice job. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, you guys, stand up, grab a sip of water if you need some. All right. Like I said, workout's gonna be short and sweet today, so we are gonna get started right away here. All right, we have, in our circuit, we have four different things to get through. Each one will be two minutes of your time. We're gonna go through everything twice, just so you can mentally prepare. But again, short, short and quick today, then we get to the mobility stuff. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do all right, is gonna be quick feet. So we're gonna be stationary. All right, and we're quick feet here. It's gonna be two minutes straight, but 
every 30 seconds, I will let you know we're at the 30 second point. Every 30 seconds, you are dropping down for two push ups. All right, you can be on your knees if you need to, and then you're right back here for quick feet, and then every 30 seconds, you'll drop down. All right, I, we're just gonna go through everything as we go because we're gonna have good rest time in between. So we are gonna start in 10 seconds with those quick feet. And then every 30 seconds, you're dropping down for two push-ups. All right, three, two, and one. Again, heart rate's up for here. Quick, quick, quick. I want you guys moving. Again, if you're looking for non-impact, I'm going to find that. You can go a little bit lateral step here. Good, if not move, make sure chop your steps. In 10 seconds, you have two push-ups. Three, two, and one. Drop it down, two push-ups. And then you're right back up. You're right back up. I want to get that heart rate up today before we move into our mobility work. Keep those feet moving. That's most important. You got 10 seconds. Stay low, too. So try to be up here. Stay low. Bend those knees. Three, two, one, two push ups. Right back up when you're ready. Right back up. We're here. There we go. I like this. Smaller group today. I got my eyes on all of you. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. You got your two push ups. Two push ups. Good. We're back up. This is our last round coming up. This is our last round. 20 seconds. And then you got one more set of push ups here. Four, three, two, one. Last two push ups. Last two push ups. There we go. Nice job. Nice job. Perfect. You got the rest. You got the rest. You'll always have 45 seconds in between. So take your time. Grab some water if you need to. I will explain our next one that we're doing here. Nice job. Round one done. All right, our next one is gonna be squat jacks. All right, so what that is, is a jumping jack with a squat. Again, if you want the non-impact, you can always go regular jumping jacks here or a step out for completely no impact, all right? Most that will get the heart rate up is going to be here. Again, it's two minutes, all right? And then every 30 seconds, you're going to drop down to the ground, and you have two full sit-ups with your arms straight, and I want you reaching for the ceiling here. All right? Perfect timing. Three, two, one, and we're going. Good. Squat jacks here. Here. Regular jumping jacks are here. Lay on the feet or not in back. Still get those arms up. You're still moving your legs. And I promise your heart rate is still getting up here. Good. Keep it going. You got less than 10 seconds and then we're going into our two sit ups. Three, two, one. Two sit ups, arms are straight, straight up, straight up, and then you're going right back to those jumping jacks, right back to those jumping jacks. There you go. These are the legs burner. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, two sit ups. Good, right back up. Nice job, nice job. I just want you moving, moving in for these two minutes here. Keep going. 
it. Nice job, you guys. Three, two, one. Two sit-ups, two sit-ups. All right, stay straight. We only got one more round after this. There you go, use that core. Last 40 seconds. There we go. Three, two, one, two sit ups, two sit ups, and then we're on rest here. Nice job, very good. You are on your 45 second breather here. Nice job. Our next round is going to be again that two minutes. You're going to lateral shuffle, all right, and then every 30 seconds, you're just doing one reverse lunge each leg. So two total, you'll be back to these lateral shuffles, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, keep that shin vertical in front and then drop straight down to where your mobility allows. All right, you guys ready? This rest time is gonna go by faster every round. Three, two, and one. Lateral shuffle. Hey, come and join our workout. 
two-minute breather we got to go through that one more time and then we're stretching all right hang in there high intensity Saturdays grab some water grab some water We feeling good? Can I get some thumbs ups here? Nice. Nice. All right. One more time through, then we're stretching. All right, we're gonna get ready to go in about 30 seconds here, all right? So, you're gonna start back with those quick feet. We got quick feet every 30 seconds. You're dropping down to those two push-ups. All right? Try to keep those elbows in. All right, that's gonna protect the shoulders a little bit more. All right, we're going in 10 seconds here. Heart rate's up, blood pumping. You guys don't have to see me till Monday. Three, two, one, and go and quick feet.
or we step out to the side, and then that will get paired with our two sit-ups. But I want you guys arms straight, all right? Arms straight, using that core to get up. We're going in 12 seconds. 10 seconds here, so doing great. Use this time to bring your heart rate down. Breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Three, two, and one, let's go. Good, 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 yes, this one is a leg burger. Over here. 10 seconds. Again, with those reverse lunges, keep that shin vertical in front. You don't want to push your knee over your front toe here. All right, we're going in four, three, two, and one. Shuffling, going. Nice 
Some people think the mobility is harder, and sometimes it is depending on how our mobility and flexibility are. All right, but grab some water. You guys are good. I want to bring those heart rates down here. Got some good stuff for you guys today. All right, hopefully you guys have some sort of either mat or carpet flooring here. All right, so we're gonna start off nice and easy. We're gonna be laying on our back and we're gonna start with our knee rock side to side. This is gonna loosen up our lower back, our thoracic spine and keep your arms wide, arms wide. I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds. Relax your head on the ground, head, and arms should be extended. Relax those on the ground here. You guys are rocking your knees side to side. Yep, again, give it that one, one to three second pause, and then you rotate sides here. Again, relaxing. Your goal is to keep those arms and shoulders on the ground as you rotate here. Nice job. Got about 12 more seconds. Good work, good work, you guys crushed it. Three, two, and one. Okay, now same position, straighten your legs. Straighten both legs, 
One leg is going to go up and over. Your goal is to touch that opposite side of the ground with your arms and shoulders still being on the ground. Again, this is a tight one for a lot of people. So if you can't, you just go to your range of motion, your mobility level here. You can pause for one to three seconds, and then you will switch sides. Again, you're going to feel this in the lower back, upper back, maybe even a little bit in the glutes there. You guys got about 10 more seconds. Nice job, nice job. If you are someone that has lower back tightness or pain, both of these are really good for you to do every day if you have time. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna start getting a little bit harder here. We're gonna start in our in our tripod position here, but we're gonna have all fours on the ground to start. So heels are gonna be on the ground, hands on the ground, and we wanna try to make a tabletop. All right, and we're going to reach with our right arm back and across, and we're going to hold it there for 10 seconds. All right, and then we will switch sides. So get in this position, try to keep your hips up. Three, two, one, reaching that right arm across. We're going to hold here for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. You can drop down, give those arms a breather if you need to. And then we're going to switch to the left. You're stretching out your lats, all right, and your sides here. All right, we're going up for the left. Three, two, one. Bring that tabletop and a reach of that left arm back and across here. You guys should feel the stretch in the lats. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Drop the back down. We're going to do three each side here. So we have two each side left. All right, back to tabletop, reaching that right arm back and across. Keep your weight in your heels, hips and extended up. Good, holding, holding. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, drop them back down. Getting ready for that left arm. Ready and going, extending. It's a 10 second reach here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We got one more each side. Give those arms a breather if you need to. Nice job. Again, you should feel that stretch through the side and the lats. All right, last one. One each side here. Hips up. Right arm back and across here. Hold in, hold in. Ten seconds. Nice job, you guys. Good work. Hips extended up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Drop it down and switching sides. In three, two, and one. Hips up, reaching. This will be our last one here, and then we'll give those arms a breather. Nice job, nice job. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Rest in. All right, now. We usually do our pigeon stretch, all right? So a little bit different today. What I want you to try to do is keep this front leg, we'll start with our left leg forward, left leg forward. You want to try to get this at 90 degrees and then also your bottom leg almost at 90 degrees here. Our goal, so if we have our left leg forward, we're going to take our right elbow to our left knee and reach across. Again, this is a common, very, very tight one. If you cannot do that, that's fine. You can always do regular pigeon stretch. Good, I want you guys holding there. We're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Again, if it's super tight for you, totally fine. This is actually a really hard one for me. You can always grab a chair, cross your front leg across, and then lean forward here. You're gonna get that same stretch here, and you can lean forward. Keep holding. 10 more seconds. So again, modified version, you could be in the chair. Three, two, and one, nice job. We're gonna take our time to uncross, then we're gonna put that right leg in front at 90 degrees, 
our back left leg at 90. And then our left elbow to our right knee and you're rotating across in front, holding it there. Sorry, I'm not the best example of this one. This is a weakness spot for me and it's tight, but we gotta work at it. This is gonna help stretch out those hips. Got about 15 more seconds. And then we're gonna do one more time each side. Four, three, two, and one. Good, relaxing. We're gonna switch back again, so take your time. Left leg will be in front, right leg behind. In that 90 degrees, allowing us to take the right elbow to the left knee and cross over and lean. You guys are holding here for 30 seconds. Nice job. Your mobility work is almost just as important as your regular workout. Right, when we're working out, we're actually breaking down our muscles and causing them to be tight. So this is doing the opposite. Increasing that blood flow, helping out that range of motion. We got five seconds here. Three, two, and one, good. Take your time switching. You'll be back with that right leg in front at 90. Left leg behind. This will be our last one for these, but I'm guessing this will be a good one for you guys to do for your homework. All right, left elbow to that right knee, reaching across, stretching out that lower back again, and then also leaning forward. Get that forward lean in there. Personally, I'm not a big fan of static stretching, so I kind of like to personally lean into it Relax a little bit and then really lean into it again to each their own. You can static stretch post workout. I'm totally fine with that. My personal preference is to just lean into that tension, relieve it a little bit, and then get back into it. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Relaxing. Good work with that one. I know that was probably a tough one. All right, we're gonna go into Superman's here first, or Superwoman's, both. All right, so palms are gonna be facing up. We're gonna relax our head on the ground, but I'm talking to you guys, so I'm looking ahead. I want your head down. And you're gonna drive your thumbs and heels to the roof, okay, focusing on that lower back. All right, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Ready and going. Thumbs are up, and then heels. Get your feet up off the ground and extend. You guys are going 30 seconds. Extending up, yes, good. Big squeeze at the top. Nice job. This is a good one to strengthen the core and strengthen that lower back. Your arms should almost be in a Y position. We got three, two, and one, good, you're gonna stay facing down. All right, arms, all right, are gonna be still in that Y position here. You're gonna take your right leg and we're gonna turn it over and reach for the opposite side of the ground. All right, so again, we're here face down. You're gonna swing your right leg to the left side of your body. All right, and then you can open up that shoulder. We're gonna hold here for 20 seconds. Arms should be wide, just like with the knee rocks. And then hips are angled and stretching here. Three, two, and one, good, back to center. And now we're gonna take that left leg and swing the left leg up and across. You can bring your arm with it here. We're opening up this left hip. Opening up that left hip. Keep the right leg on the ground. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, back to center. We're gonna do one more each side. One more each side. So take that right leg, swing it across to the left. Bring that right arm with you. Open up the hips here. Good, hold in. Three, two, 
three, two, and one. Back to center. This will be our last one coming up here. All right. Back to that left leg. Arms stay wide. Shifting that left leg across. Opening up the hips here. Keep your right leg on the ground. Right leg on the ground. Good. Holding, holding, holding. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Standing on up here, you guys. Shake it out a little bit. Standing on up. All right. We're going to be back here. Okay, so I want your weight in your heels. Your chest is going to be parallel to the ground. All right, and we're going to go basically dead weight shoulder circles. So let's start with the right arm. And you're just going to make big circles here. But I want your arm to be dead weight. You're just working on that range of motion. So we're going to go right arm only circles here for 30 seconds. Back stays flat, chest to the ground. If you want to, you can rest your left, left hand on that knee there. Again, think dead weight. You don't want any tension in that shoulder. No tension in that shoulder. This should be nice and relaxing here. 10 seconds. Three. Two and one, good. Let's stand it up just to stretch out that back a little bit. I don't want any tension back there. Perfect, all right, left arm. So, knees slightly bent, dead weight arm circles here with that left arm for 30 seconds. Again, relaxing, you guys should be breathing in the nose, out the mouth here, just loosening up the shoulder. Nothing crazy, this should not be painful. It should not be hard if you're just loosening up the arms here. Keep going. You got about 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Standing it out up. Perfect. All right. We are going to go into hip flexor stretches here. Again, super important, especially right now or even during normal times. Our hip flexors tend to get really stiff. Why? We're either sitting at our desk, we're on our phones, on the couch, or in the car, and these muscles get super tight. All right, so we're going to go through a little series here to loosen them up. You're going to start with your right leg forward, left leg back. I'm just going to angle so you guys can see. Okay, your range of motion here does not need to be like a normal lunge. You're just lunging down enough for you to feel a stretch in your left hip flexor. What will help? Okay, I'm barely lunged down, but I feel a stretch here. I'm pushing my hips forward, but not necessarily my knee. Keep that shin vertical. And then if you need an extra stretch here, you're not feeling it, reach those arms back here. All right, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Again, with your right leg forward, you should feel a stretch through this left hip flexor. Good. Again, like I said, I like to lean into a stretch instead of static. So you might see me just moving up and down. Again, to each their own, you do what makes you comfortable. We got 10 seconds here. Nice job. Three, two, and one. Good. Relaxing. Nice, good stretch in that hip flexor. Opposite leg forward. So left leg forward, right leg back. Again, my leg is not even that far down, okay? But I'm getting this stretch in because I'm leaning my shoulders back. If a lunge bothers any, any of you, I always suggest, okay, grabbing a chair. You can always have a little bit of your body weight taken off here. You can lean on that chair for stability and then still bring that opposite arm back here. Keep holding, keep holding. Good, left leg should be forward. You should feel that stretch in the right leg. Three, two, and one. Good, reset, give those legs a breather. All right, so now we're gonna go back to right leg forward, but I'm gonna have you step out to a 45 degree angle here. So, first round we were straight forward. Left leg behind you, your toes should be straight. 
but I want your right leg coming out at 45 degree angle. And same thing, we're here. Pull those shoulder back here, or reach those arms back. All right, again, don't push your knee forward, push your hips forward. 15 more seconds. Leg should be at 45 degree angle here, so we're just, we're changing up the angle so that we're getting in that hip flexor at a little bit of a different angle here. Three, two, and one. Good, relax in. You guys are gonna switch sides here, switch sides. So, left leg forward, out to 90 degrees, and your right leg will be back. All right, so you guys can see here, my hips are still facing you guys. My hips are still facing you. I just almost, I have a little staggered stance here. Good, holding. With the left leg forward, you should feel a stretch in this right hip flexor. Slowly moving my rug here. Almost there, almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Good, relax in, relax and shake those legs out. All right, we're gonna be back with the right leg forward. We're gonna go into a complete lateral lunge this time, basically. So, you're gonna take it here. I want both toes staying straight, and we're gonna lean into it. You can lean and reach for that opposite toe if you want, or you can stay chest up tall. Chest up tall is gonna get you to feel a little bit more on that hip flexor, reaching for your toe. You're gonna feel a little bit more on that inner thigh. All right, we're holding here for 30 seconds. Again, feel free, you can always rest your elbow here. Stretching out that hip flexor on the inside here. Again, if those legs get fatigued, just come back to center, and then you can lean back into it. Like I said, I almost prefer that. I don't really like static stretching too much, so I lean into it, I get a good stretch, and then I reset. Three, two, and one. Good, shake out those legs. We're gonna do the same thing going to the left now. All right, so leaning towards the left, you're gonna feel a stretch in the right side here. Nice job. Lean into it. Take a break with those hips and legs if you need to. We're going 30 seconds total. Nice job. Reaching down for that foot if you want an extra stretch for that inner thigh. Three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna do our last one here. Legs are gonna stay wide. We're gonna lean forward. And I'm gonna have you guys crawl your hands. Your goal is to get to the outside of your foot. You're gonna be slowly moving for these 30 seconds, all right? Go ahead. 30 seconds. This is just gonna stretch out those hamstrings a little bit. And again, that inner thigh as you try to reach for the outside of your foot. All right, that's the goal. You go where to. Go where your range of motion allows, but push it just a little bit. We're almost there. Got about 10 seconds, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and 